My team and I are so excited to finally be closing this deal. Do you think that we've been working on this for about a year? Yeah, there's still a couple of intricacies to iron out, but the deal's as good as yours. <laughs> I'm just super excited to finally visit Nigeria again. You know, I heard so many stories growing up, but my memories of this place are quite vague. Well, hopefully we'll find some time to hang out. I can show you around town and let's try and uh, test that memory of yours. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I might just take you up on the offer. I'm so sorry. I'm late. That's fine. <sighs> What is he doing here? Hey, Yoma, this is... I know who he is. Look, if you found out who I am or who my parents are, we're not giving you any money. I'm sorry, have we met? Yoma! This is Leon Adeyemi, the liaison from Voice Electronics in Germany. I don't care where he's from. He is rude. <laughs> Look, I apologize, but was it something that I said? Or, <laughs> wait, is this some legal nuance that I'm missing or probably some traditional thing that I should be doing, right? So I'm supposed to believe you don't recognize me. You don't remember meeting me at Harold's. The hotel? You see, Harold's is the hotel where I've been staying. Look, I apologize. Lagos has been such a blur so far. I've been majorly jet lagged. I don't care about your jet lag. Yuma. Leon here is the person who determines if this deal that I've been working on for over a year goes through. Sorry, excuse me, I'm late for another meeting. Iyoma, I can trust you to see him out? Iyoma, I can trust you to see Mr. Deemi out? Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. You can call me just Leon. So, you really don't remember? Challenge accepted. Just Leon. Nurse? Is the patient supposed to be in surgery? Um, not exactly, but uh, the chat here says she is not supposed to be on ICU. Really? Yes, and um... I don't have any recollection of that. Besides, her chat here says... Hey, hey! Hey! What are you people doing here? Eh? What, 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 what's that? Oga, are you from the bank people that sold this place? This property belongs to the Malafas. What bank are you talking about? Citadel Bank. Oga, please show us your ID or we call police because you did trespass. My name is Nafike Malafa and this property belongs to my father. Unless your father is Citadel. Please, Oga, show us your ID or we call police. I, I said my father owns this property. I have papers to prove Wait it. Wait, concern us because I papers. See, now respect with the respect to you. You be like correct gentleman. But if you want me, we change them for you, eh? I say, may you they move. Go! Babe, you need to calm down. I'm sure she's not lying. I'm sure she's busy doing something else. Something else? More important than meeting the publicist that will make sure the spies are hit. Babe, you know everybody does what Falasha de Koko says. Jesse, you need to. Jesse, you need to calm down, okay? Why is she not at this meeting? Was she not the one saying I should be more involved with the spa? Because he has been managing this spa for months. I'm sure she can handle one meeting. Babe, she knows more about the spa than I do. She's the one that has been here. She, 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 she knows I'm risking everything. It's just one meeting. I'm sure you have nothing to be worried about, okay? Babe, she's here. I've got to go. Hey. So, was she like 
crazy mad at me. <laughs> well, she'll get over it, Jerry, when she sees what we have planned. I hope so. Uh -huh. Has the driver returned yet? Tito, I can't believe you'll forget the most important <laughs> ingredient in this whole proposal. <laughs> Look, I was busy lugging my box around. I forgot it in the foyer. Yeah, I guess it happens. For what it's worth, Chef, I think it's super romantic that you saved every love letter that Jesse has ever written you. <laughs> I just hope that Lassie brings the box, or else Jesse will never see it. True. Yeah, you should find out where he is now. Yeah. I just hope that she finds him romantic as well. Word. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. Hello, Agatifdo. Uh, are they road? Yes, I don't carry the box. Yes. Okay, sir. Boss. We've got our eyes on him. Yes, boss. But the spy is not just me, you know. Oh. <laughs> All the press documents must mention both names. Of course. Uh, um, please, let me take this. Thank you. <clears throat> Dad, I am in a meeting. I'm meeting the meeting. I organized a meeting for you today to meet with my possible replacement. As she can meet in your calendar. The, you're, you're joking. You... Where will... <laughs> what? I am so excited. If this were happening to me, I would have died from excitement by now. If what was happening to you, what are you talking about? <laughs> I have a message for you. Where is this from? Read it. Jesse, have I told you why I love you today? I love you for that smile that I know is in your face right now. You smile like it surprises you, like you never expected your lips to curve in the perfect crescent. There is nothing more genuine than a Jesse Jankfa smile. There it is. The beam that warms the very depths of my heart. How can a smile be light and home at the same time? So today, I love you for your smile, Jesse. Big, big. He went through all of this just to write me a love letter. <laughs> is that what you think this is? Wait, you, you need to see a video. And I'm sending you the link right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey babe, I hope that by now you've read my letter. And you being the smart girl that you are, I'm sure that you've already put your pieces together. I know that you don't like public proposals and all of us. What's he do if you're hiding someone's soul going to kill you? You know I hate public proposals. We talked about this. I decided to do something different, something special. So instead of coming to meet you and going down on one knee in a room full of strangers, I'd like you to meet me somewhere special. Can you remember the place I took you for our first date? Where I asked you to be my girlfriend. And then you asked me how big I love you. <laughs> Jesse, I love you, big thing. I'm waiting for you. Oh. I love you, big thing. <laughs> <laughs>
you're doing? That's why you missed the meeting. I hear you wanted to bite my head off. I will kill you. <gasps> my ghost will be very happy for you. The ghost proposed it! I'm making so much noise. I'm so happy for you. Wait, where is he? Is he on a boat? Our parents took us out on the boat today. They asked me to be his girlfriend. Well, I cannot tell you where he is, but I can give you your next clue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so happy for you. I, I don't know what I'm about to cry. Okay, um, get it together. Put this off. Get it together. Because it quickly, the love of my life is waiting for me. So, um, <clears throat> so Tigdo said to tell you that he's in the exact spot he was when he found out he was in love with you. And that and that the first time you saw it, you described it as the point where heaven touches us. <laughs> I know where he is. <laughs> go, 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 go. Anyway, wait, I have to go now. So um, this is about you and Tim Joe. What? But madam, the next time we talk, you had better be engaged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, how do I look? Mm. Yeah. My God! <laughs> <laughs> Ade, she came in. Ade, she came in. Why did you people put somebody's name on my calendar without asking me first? Sir, she's here. Well, I'm not seeing anybody. And we're not looking to hire anyone either. Yes, sir. And the next time you connive, Ms. Changfa or whoever, to put Finally. The next time you show up at the Gado estate unannounced, I'll have the security kick you off the property. Do me a favor, Abimbola. Do not make the mistake of threatening me. I'm in a foul mood today and my fuse is short. When did you get out of prison? When did... <laughs> it's funny. It's been quite a while since you've asked me a stupid question, Abimbola. Do you remember? Because I do. <laughs> Why, it's all I could think about, really. Yes, Mrs. Giado. No, Mrs. Giado. Coffee, Mrs. Giado? Why are you here? Did you think that I would die in prison? You abandoned me and just forgot about our deal. The deal was 20 million. One every year you were gone. We held up our part of the deal. We paid you. Please. 20 million after 20 years. I mean, how much is that really? Damn thing can't even buy a house. The deal was not a house. The deal was that I would be catered for. <laughs> and inflation has made that money useless, so. <laughs> Besides, we both know that 20 is nowhere near the deal that we made. What do you want? <laughs> I'm thinking 40. That's ridiculous. A 100% increase. You want another 20? Mm. 
it's just as beautiful as the first day I saw it. <laughs> you are such a bully, a very rough one. I mean, how did you always manage to tear your clothes? <laughs> <laughs> well, here is the proof of my hard guy. Every letter that you ever wrote me. You kept all of them. I remember the first one. Uh, the address turned 18. And you said that every time that you saw me, you felt like your heart was about to jump out of your chest. <laughs> I was such a corny kid. <laughs> Never since that moment. I felt like my own heart has been to drop out of my chest. Even this very minute, it feels like it feels like my heart is about to leave my chest. I love you so much. Please. Please keep my heart alive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the amount of love I have for you, it's... Big isn't enough to describe it. It's big, big. <laughs> I'll say yes. Only on one condition. What? How many letters did I write? Three points, two. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Let me see. You wrote me a letter every month. For as long as we've been together, and you sent me 323 emails. <laughs> I'm tired of that box. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Jang from please, will you? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's perfect. Just like you, though. I really thought you were going to propose with your grandmother's ring. But this ring is gorgeous, though. <laughs> um, the thing about the, that you ring... You always said you were going to give that ring to the love of your life. <laughs> Don't worry, you can give it to me at the wedding. <laughs> yeah. That'll work. <laughs> Where's my sister? Yeah, we'll be leaving. Hey, hey. I, I really want this moment to be about us. I kind of was enjoying our privacy. Let me drive. Mm. I'll even put in a little spontaneity. Rasisi? <laughs> <laughs> well, My keys. Huh? My keys. Mm. 
My keys are right here. Awesome. Here are my keys. I'll be driving myself, don't worry. This is Jess's car keys. This is our car here. Let's take it home, take it to our house. Okay? You know, I'll take it to my house. Okay? Let's go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the first duty of the future, Mrs. Giada. Well, that will be your only duty tonight. <laughs> You promised me something. Well, get in the car and see if the future Mrs. Guiado keeps to her promises. Okay, then. <laughs> Spontaneous tonight. I, I, I need my hand to answer my phone. Yeah, you don't. It's costly. <laughs> I'll put it on speaker. Hey. Hey. Has it done it? Has it done it? Has it done it? I am engaged! <laughs> Amazing. Please don't wait on that. Thanks, dear. So, babes, I'm thinking mm. two words mm. destination wedding. Oh. I'm thinking Bali. Cosi, we need to think logistics. Gosh. With my folks and that of the, the ghettos, you're, you're trying to put thousands of people on a plane. All of them will come in their private jets now. <laughs> Do come, boy. Evis, just get ready. We're going to shut down Bali. <laughs> Sorry, sir. My, it couldn't wait. It's Team Doe and Jesse. There's been an accident. 